Personally, I think that the truth of the hidden teachings in the Bible have been kept secret from us. And I think that this has went on for thousands of years. And I think that the truth is written in plain sight in the, I think, most powerful hidden Bible teaching on the planet. And this truly, I think, has the power to change your life. So. My name is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button right over there, right over there, and let me know in the comments. Let's dive right into this video. Studying and discussing metaphysics and neuroscience and spirituality and philosophy and religion over the last many years, Going back to some of the most uh, common adages or things that you hear from the Bible in society at large, whether or not you read it or not, there's a couple of those phrases that are kind of universal. And one of those phrases that I think very few people understand is the phrase that Jesus said to that he's in this world, but not of it in this world, but not of it. And it's basically this, invita this invitation in order for us to be able to raise our level of awareness and our level of consciousness to recognize our true self. So if you're in this world, but not of it, what does that mean? Well, it means that your true self is beyond birth and death, that you're eternal, you're infinite, you're more than flesh, you're more than your past, you're more than what you see when you look in the mirror, you're more than your bank account, you're more than other people's opinions of you, you're more of everything that's happened to you so far. You're none of it. You're in this world and you're, you're a spiritual being in a physical body an infinite spiritual being in a physical body, a divine being in a physical body, and you're using this physical body exactly like a rental car. It's exactly like a rental car. When you go fly to London and you rent a car, or you fly to Austin, Texas and you rent a car, all you're doing is borrowing a car for a temporary period of time. And the illusion is temporary. The attachment to ego and self and all of these limitations of our world to, you know, goes on to say in the Bible, to uh, be not conformed by, by all of these limitations in our society. And these limitations in society make us think that we are the rental car. That's it. We're attached to self as form. But when you realize that you're in this world, but you're not of it, you're no longer afraid of the biggest fear of all, which is the fear of death. And if you're no longer afraid of the fear of death, then you conquer the fear of losing. You conquer the fear of what other people think of you. You conquer the fear of lack and limitation and fear of not having enough. You conquer the limitation of not being enough because how could you already not have the infinite winds of God, of the universe at your side and moving to and through you that it really is every cell of your being. You know, you look more from a practical um, neuroscience or, or, or quantum physics perspective. We're made up of a bunch of atoms, right? And it, ironically in the Bible, it says Adam and Eve. So if you think of Adam, what's Adam? Adam is atoms, the physical building blocks of matter. Of course, they're spelled differently, but it's the same thing, matter. Uh, matter is made up of atoms. So atoms, we think were particles. There are these physical things in this world that make up my body, they make up the wall, they make up this chair, and we think that they're atoms. But what eventually we found out that atoms, there's things smaller than atoms. So there's things called subatomic particles. So subatomic particles, uh, we find out, are made up of 99% empty space. So an atom is 99.99999% empty space. So everything you see, uh, the world of form, the uh, world of matter, it's actually made up of 
99.999999% empty space. And so you go, what is it? Well, it's spirit energy. It's spirit energy vibrating at a, at a purity level or frequency level that's beyond the bandwidth of visible light that your eyes can see with. So it's beyond the realm of visible light, but it's still there. It's just invisible to the naked eye. But when we understand that we're in this world, but not of it, well, the, the world follows the same pattern, which is that um, spirit is the source of origination and things move from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. Uh, that this energy is always following this path of perpetual transmutation from light frequencies that are unperceivable, invisible to visible. So we move from uh, invisible to visible. We move from spirit to form. We move from thought to thing. And everything follows this universal order because we recognize that we are spirit. You're in this world, but you're not of it. And when you're not of this world, it allows you to move to the creative level of consciousness where um, all things are possible and that thought is cosmic energy that has the ability to move from the spirit realm to the physical realm. And we find out that there is a universal power to life that is always on our side and it's always available to us. And you start to see it reveal itself when you are transformed by the renewing of your mind in that the shift of your mind moves beyond form. The word transform, trans means beyond and then form. So transform, the word transform means beyond form. Uh, so transform beyond form. So if you're, if you are transformed by the renewing of your mind, what that means is your mind has moved beyond identification with self as form and it's now connected to God. It's connected to spirit. We've stepped outside of uh, all of our worldly limitations. And when that happens, you start to see it reflect back into your life because the outer physical world is a mirror representation of our own level of consciousness. And when you start to say, I'm in this world, but not of it, what you're doing is your consciousness is shifting to a place of if you are in this world, but you're not of this world, then what are you of? Well, you are of God. You are of spirit. You are of the universe, whatever word you want to call it. Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water. So, you know, I'm not trying to focus too much on the word. So then all of that being so, I must be like that which I come from. I must be like that which I come from. You must be like that which you come from. And what do you come from? You come from this higher power, whatever word you want to call it. And so then you go, well, what are the qualities of this higher power? Uh, what are the qualities of spirit? What are the qualities of consciousness? What are the qualities of God? What are the qualities of the universe? They're infinite, first of all, because uh, space is constantly expanding and the universe is constantly growing. So it's infinite in nature. There's nothing impossible to it. It is always creating. It has the power of creation and it's infinite uh, in source, in, in, in essence. So first of all, it's infinite. Second of all, I personally believe it's friendly and loving. I mean, it's like, hey, we're here and we have this solar system and this atmosphere with oxygen and these perfect immune systems and these uh, perfect intelligence that started us from little protoplasms ultimately into little babies and then big old people. And so I believe that all of that being so for us to have life, I believe it's friendly and loving uh, in nature. So then you go, it's infinite, it's friendly and loving in nature, and if I must be like that which I come from, if I'm also 
in this world, but not of it. And I'm of God and God is infinite, friendly, loving. Then what that means is my life must follow the same trajectory if I allow it to. (laughs) We sometimes get in our own way, but if I allow it to by, uh, surrendering to this higher power and surrendering my mind to myself, then what I find out is that my life follows the same trajectory. My life can be get infinitely better. I can make infinitely more money. I could have infinitely more service in the world. In other words, since you are in this world, but not of it, you are infinite in nature and the possibilities that exist for you in this incarnation are infinite in nature, that you are meant to have an enriching, friendly, loving life. Your soulmate is out there. How could your romantic relationship, if you surrender to it and you don't try to force it and you surrender to the universe, how could it not follow the same trajectory if the universe is friendly and loving to an infinite degree? It's, it's, it's essence is well being and love. Then if you let go of forcing it and you allow it to unfold and trust that it will unfold, how could it not follow the same laws? How could your career not follow the same path? You should be able to be very successful at whatever you're passionate about. And you can be because You are like that which you come from, which is divine, uh, unlimited, successful. All things are possible because you are that which you come from and you are in this world, but not of it. So this is exciting because when you surrender to this, when you surrender to God, when you surrender to the universe, when you surrender to this uh, nameless energy, all things become possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it interesting, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you resonated with this, be sure to hit the like button on this side right over there and this side right over there on this side that will send it out to more people. I firmly believe that when we have this type of a shift in consciousness, it will change our world. I don't know whether it's going to happen in my lifetime or not, but when we have this shift, it'll end all wars because we recognize we're spirit. We recognize we're all one. We will not destroy other people in the world with, with, uh, greed. And I believe it's possible one day. So if you follow that same vision, please be sure to share this video on social media and hit the like button and leave a comment down below because it does help the video send out to more people in the YouTube universe. 